extra pages to this document and we're going to deal with the text that you can see is it's not fit in the box at the bottom there. So if we go to pages we can see we've already got page two and three. So we're going to go over to page two. Page one is here, page two is over here. I'm just going to add in another text box into page two. So I'm going to go back to use the top tool and I'm just going to scroll a little bit so I can see page two and I can see page three. You don't need to do this but certainly one way to do it. You see a little red box this over here and what you can do there is just click on that red box and what that does is it gives you like a little attachment of text and you click it and what it does is it puts it into a connecting text box you can tell it to uh, flow into any text box you want again this one's on uh, one column it should be on two so you click the actual box go back to properties uh, if you remember how we did it before we go and click the box and we scroll down and you see that you put that onto two text columns well accidentally I've got on a okay I accidentally got on a border apologies so now I've got my text flown into another page from page two okay so if we go back to page one uh, I'm just going to scroll in on the start of the text some things that you need to do here we've got the title of the actual article stuck in here so we're going to take that out uh, I'm just going to uh, cut it using the command X key okay um, let me go back to full view. Now you probably want your um, title of your article to go above the image. So just now I'm going to move down the text box uh, from page one. And I'm just going to show you page two at the same time. You see, so you can see how the text looks. So I'm just moving this; so it's a lot shorter. You see that the more text is appearing on page two as I do this. The more I pour it in, the more it goes. Okay, so I've made quite a lot of space on page one. Uh, possibly need to make a bit more. So I'll just keep on pushing a little handle down. And now I want to move this image down to uh, on top of the text here. So I can do a couple of things. I can just move it with the top tool this tool up here. If I really want to find control I can hold down the cursor keys and it will zoom down quite quickly. Right, I'm going to put in my title up here so I need to obviously draw a text box so I'll just draw one here and I'm going to do a paste because I've still got the text on the clipboard. See here, it's obviously the text is far too small for a title, so I'll just select a bit of text with the text tool. Go into properties, and I'll think about uh, what size I want this to be. I don't really want to live um, with 30 points, so I actually just want it to be uh, 65, so I'll just type in. Um, I've not got enough room for my larger heading so I'm going to continue to move down the image and I'm going to just make this you see the red the red dot which makes the title too small so I'm just going to pull that down uh, to make the box bigger you also notice that there's a really irritating hyphenation and design tends to hyphenate automatically which can be really pretty irritating if you're on your text excuse me, text tool and you click into the text, you will see this little paragraph uh, and the properties bar, it says text size, appearance, etc, but it comes down to 
paragraph. You click on these three dots, which is in every menu. It opens up more options, and one of them is hyphenate. If you just take hyphenate off. So now we've got a title, an image, which is slipped out of proportion, or slipped out of alignment. Let's even move that up a bit. And now I have single page running into a double page in page uh, two and three. Obviously, what I don't have is any anything that I've done to format the text. There's two ways you can format the text. One is simply to use the text tool. Uh, and select all the text and you see it's aerial when it's on its 12 point text 12 point text is quite large for magazines so i'm just going to take that down to 11. i don't think aerial is the best um, font to hyphenate with uh to read with so i'm probably going to make use of them slightly better um uh, because I don't want to spend a lot of time, I'm going to look for Gil Sands, or the modern font. You see here there's a, there's a reasonable amount of hyphenation on. If you remember how to take that off, you just increase the size of the paragraph button and take off hyphenate. I don't want that. So that's off now. You see there's quite a lot of... Um, formatting to do that probably want to have paragraphs in here so I'm going to work my way through the article and put in a few paragraphs I'm not saying these are accurate so give me a row also seeing page one is quite an awkward line um, then after burst in seeing 2,000 paragraphs, so it's not that bad. Right, as it says, it's okay. So I'm just going to move my text box down. So I'm going to end on two paragraphs. The other thing I need to put in on this page is an image credit. So I'm just going to grab the text uh, box and I'm going to. Uh, okay, let's so take that in, right. and because it's the image credits, I'm using it quite small, so I'm going to make it maybe a uh, 10 point. Uh, I'm going to use italics that you can see is. Um, Available from oh, available from the the text options. If you ever lose um, type options, go to type. You know, see it's that C font sizes, etc. Might might make life a wee bit easier. Characters here, which is quite helpful. So look character menu. And you'll see that you have various different options. Uh, tabs. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to leave my image credit sitting on the text. What I'm actually going to do is move it on to the image, which of course once I move it on it's black, I'm not going to read it. So if you want to knuckle out with type colours, just select the bit of type you want to change. Uh, you'll see it down here, it's kind of like Photoshop and the front one is selected, which is type. I'm just going to change this to uh, white, which is in here. Uh, perfect. And move my text box back up again with um, 
all the domains and programs, you can specify that this is actually sitting on top of the image. But as an object, you can uh, determine what position it is on top of the object. You can send it to back or you can keep it to front, etc. So fitting uh, content of the image is in select menu, which is first above object above and it next blah, blah 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 and the arrangement menu so i can send it backwards or i can go to object arrange it send it back and it'll push it behind the image but obviously i want it in the front so i'm going to go arrange print to front okay so so far i have page one with uh, page title, an image, an image credit, a paragraph, and if I scroll down I have page 2 with very little in it just now. So it's entirely up to me how I arrange page 2. Probably want to do something along the lines of make it a single column and maybe start to put in some images on this side. Maybe put in one here. or something like that. So, a basic introduction to setting up a page. Thank you.